Hey hello friends welcome back to my new video. In this video I am going to introduce my second generation home automation PCB. I have designed lots of amazing home automation PCBs such as this 8 node, 4 node, 2 node and this 2 node home automation PCB which is used for heavy load. This PCB can handle up to 30 ampere load so you can use this PCB in your heavy load appliances. All these PCBs were amazing and very useful for home automation projects. But over time things changes, technology changes. All these PCBs were awesome but have some limitations such as we can't control the speed of fan and to flash the code we have to use another ESP32 development board or any other USB to TTL programmer board. So in this new home automation PCB which is I am calling second generation home automation PCB has no such limitations. Now we can control the speed of fan and also we can flash any code or any firmware directly into this PCB without the need of any external programmer. Apart from this, there is lot other things added in this home automation PCB. Before we move on, let me tell you about a fantastic tool that has made my PCB design process so much more efficient, LTM365. LTM365 is the first open electronic hardware development platform that fosters a secure and collaborative design environment. Whether you are working alone or with a team, LTM365 ensures everyone is on the same page. Key benefits of LTM365 is Data Management Store all your design data securely in one place with robust version control, ensuring everyone works with the latest file. Library Management Access millions of ready-to-use parts with up-to-date supply chain data, making informed design decision easier. Supply Chain Management Integrated BOM management with real-time data on parts availability and pricing helps streamline your production cycles. Collaboration Enable seamless collaboration with your team and manufacturers, reducing errors and speeding up the design process. And if you are a student and want to be job ready in electronics design, try LTM Student Lab. You will get free access to LTM Designer and LTM 365, so you can collaborate with your mates and earn a certificate that recognized by top industries in India. It's a great way to boost your skills and your resume. Just enter your university email to get started for free and learn real skills that lead to real jobs with LTM Student Lab. And benefits of this LTM Student Lab is, you will get free access to LTM Designer Student License and PCB Design courses, university level curriculum and course certified from LTM Education, free access to Power Analyzer by Keysight. This is an amazing opportunity to gain industry recognized skills. Uh, thanks to LTM for sponsoring this video. For more details, check out the link in the description. First of all, the size of PCB is very small. It comes in 87mm by 100mm. To reduce the size of PCB, we have used GST connector for manual inputs and sensor pins instead of screw terminals. In this PCB, you will get inbuilt programming circuit, so no need of any external USB programmer or development board to flash the code into it. This PCB comes with Type-C port, which makes it so convenient to flash the code. Just connect the PCB with your computer using Type-C cable and you are good to go. You will also get onboard circuit for fan speed control. In this PCB, you will get onboard fuse for overload and short circuit protection. And the terminal connector is also heavy load connectors, which gives you safety from melting due to overheating and sparking. And we have also added auto coupler for extra protection. Apart from these safety features, in this PCB you will also get pin for DST and IR receiver. So just you need to plug in and you have DST and IR receiver option in your project. Using DST sensor, you can monitor the temperature and humidity value of your room and even you can make temperature control system. And using IR receiver, you can control your appliances through your IR remote. This home automation PCB is based on ESP32 chip, so you can use this PCB for IoT projects as well. For example, you can make home automation system using the popular IoT platforms like Blink, KME Smart, ESP Rainmaker, Arduino IoT Cloud, Cardio and many more. And we all know ESP32 also has inbuilt Bluetooth feature inbuilt, so you can make home automation project using the Bluetooth as well. Now let's dive into the schematic of this PCB. This is the schematic of our PCB. Let me explain the key components of this schematic. This is the ESP32 chip which is central microcontroller unit and responsible for processing and controlling the connected peripherals. It connects the various inputs and output pins including relays, fan speed control and LEDs. This is power supply circuit. Here we have used AMS 1117 IC which convert and regulate input voltage into 3.3 volt for powering the ESP32. This is HLK 5M05, a power supply module that converts AC mains to 5 volt DC which is used for powering the relays and other 5 volt components. These are the relay which is connected to transistor and optocouplers. 
These relays are used to control external AC loads such as appliances or fans. These relays are driven by transistors controlled via USB 32s GPIO pins. Each relay has a corresponding diode for production against back EMF. This is fan speed control circuit using the capacitors and resistance. Uh, here we have sensors and IR input pins. IR provide remote control functionality and DST sensor is used to monitor temperature and humidity value which is useful in home automation systems like HIVC control. Uh, these are the LEDs which are connected with current limiting registers. You can use these LEDs as per your need like visual status indicators for the Wi-Fi. Uh, this is programming circuit. Here I have used CS340C USB to serial converter IC. These are the additional buttons for boot and enable to reset or program the SP32. These are the manual input pins for switches and rotary switch input. Rotary switch is used to provide manual speed control of fan. Uh, that's all about the explanation part of this schematic. If you have any questions or any difficulty to understand this schematic, then you can ask your doubts in comment section below. Uh, this is the connection diagram of this PCB. Connect to your appliances like manual input switches, DST sensor and IR receiver as per this connection diagram only. And this is the GPIO of PSP32 for relays, manual input switches, DST sensor and IR receiver. Let's test this PCB, if we are able to upload the code or not. Here I am going to upload this simple blink sketch. Uh, now go to tools and then select the port. If in your case this port is not visible, then you need to install the CS340C driver in your computer. I'll put the download link of driver for Windows and Mac in the description. After this, select the correct board which is ESP32 dev board and then hit upload button. Here as you can see the code is successfully uploaded. In my upcoming videos, I will make some cool home automation projects using this PCB. So stay tuned with Technolab creation and subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And Ultium Student Lab link is available in the description. Go sign up and start your electronics and PCB design journey today. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye. Have a nice day.